Here we go. I'm going to give you a breakdown of some of the things that you may want to have on hand for today's project. So I got my little pot out here and I truly recommend everyone to have some kind of a pot container, something of where you just throw your most favorite scraps, okay? Like, you know the things that you're just like, oh, I love that, I love that, I love that scrap, I love that. You gotta have a place for all your yummy tchotchke scraps. Now, mostly like Tim Holtz and that, I have those kinds of scraps. They're all organized in my craft room. But this is like, now remember, I'm handicapped, right, at this moment. So I can just throw everything in here that's like truly yummy to me. Oh, I don't need that. But um, I have a lot of these in here for some reason. But um, I put, you know, random things, pieces of old um, music sheet, right, um, circle with the whole, I just like, it was a thank you thing. So I just took that, put that in here. Um, things that I know I'm going to use, okay? Little flower. Let's see what's on the other side of this flower. Oh, a little stone. I'm holding the camera and looking through the view. So there you go, okay? Little, little tchotchke stuff. You need a little one of these for your tchotchke stuff. This is like a wedding gown, so I keep that in there. This is, um, that's part of a wedding gown there. And I, so I can, on this, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to try to eventually stamp this. But I do kind of bundle this up and put it as, you know, different things. You can also turn that into a flower. I was watching someone make that as a flower. Let me zoom out a little. I'm just so close. Um, fabric for stamping. Okay. And I'll zoom in in a second. Okay, here we go. So, like, look at these buttons. Oh, aren't those dreamy? They remind you of Wizard of Oz. So just all this kind of stuff. Pieces of, uh, that was Prima Marketing. Those butterflies, right? Tea tags. Love to keep those in here. Got some of these. I cut those out of something. So do you see how I kind of keep a little bit of everything in here? Flowers, roses, okay? You get the gist, right? You get the idea, stamps. Okay, all right, so there's that. So you may want to get that out. Some pieces of wedding gown with beading. Okay. I'm going to close this and move it. Okay. Now to the rest of my workstation. Okay. What you may also want to use for today's project. Glitter. Yummy glitter. Um, you may want to use some small stickers. Okay. Um, everything you need for today needs to be small. Small buttons all different colors you may want to use those these are just suggestions okay you may want to use some flowers right I'll put this over here um and i have these flowers um this is more wedding gown and i also have these flowers okay and i take the centers out of them so i can make these these little flowers, okay? So I got th three of those ready for my project. And the thing is, is you may want to look at everything that I'm suggesting, pause this video and come back with your stuff. I did a poll on my um, community post and it said that 50% of you are seasoned junk journalers and then 50% of you are beginners. And so I know that there's some of you that just don't know where to start. Well, today we're just gonna dive in and who cares if we mess it up? So just please get your stuff. This is a tutorial that you would want to, um, you know, work it. This is a work it tutorial, okay? And I'm gonna make it super easy. So I'm just showing you all the stuff that you may want to have, okay? You may wanna have some piece of cloth that you've cut into a string so we can make this into bows or 
already have your bows already done. I sit here and I just tie bows and tie bows and tie bows and tie bows so that they're already ready inside of a bag, okay? This is all about being ready and prepared when you're doing your projects. It's gonna make it much easier for you, okay? You could also have some little lace on hand. You may wanna use that, okay? And um, let's see here, oh, okay. So tissue, you're gonna wanna have some tissue and some stamps, okay? If you haven't already done this, and you can do this with napkin too, okay? But go ahead and stamp, you know, some of your smaller um, things. I have some already stamped. Let me show you the ones that I've already done. Those are on napkin. But what I used last night on this project, it was so cool, is I used my mini butterflies. And I just stamped a whole bunch of butterflies on a piece of napkin. Make sure that you take the napkin apart so it's only one sheet, okay? You want it to be super thin for when you cut those out, okay? So you can cut them out on napkin or you can cut them out on um, tissue, all right? Um, I also did some wording on the tissue, okay? That was really cool. You also can do the music stamp on some tissue, okay? So I did that last night. I also had some pieces of doily that really worked good for this project last night. Now it's just about the style, but you really just wanna grab everything, okay? Just grab a whole bunch of tchotchke stuff. Here's some stickers of some like, you know, vintagey boots um, that the ladies used to wear. They're kinda high heels, their hats, their purses. Isn't that cute? So you may want to grab some kind of stickers. Um, you know the Happy Planner stickers? Maybe you want your stuff to be really um, not of any, you know, complete thing. But it could just be like Happy, these um, Happy Planner stickers, right? And these are just a variety of different stickers. Mustache, how cute. <gasps> We should do one with a mustache. We're going to. Um, but do you know all the different stickers that you have? Um, so you may want to do something that matches the project that you are going with. I'm just, you know, this is to mass your stash, right? Look at those earphones. That's a good idea. Even the talk. I mean, it just depends on your style. Everybody has a different style. The purse, the hangers, okay? And I'm gonna show you, you're gonna love this project. Okay, you can have paints. You may wanna paint to this project. I'm not painting today, but this is an option, okay? Um, you may wanna have napkins that are already, like these are pre-printed and you may wanna just use a part of the flower. You may just wanna go more of a solid color, like green, right? You're only gonna use a tiny one, so you may wanna cut out one of these flowers. You know, one of these, these big flowers, they're just too big for this project, okay? So I'm gonna show you that. And then what else do we have? Oh, I came up with this idea at the last minute. You may wanna have your sequins for this project, which is a really good idea, maybe not the googly eyes. <laughs> but you may wanna have some sequins. Um, these are like, uh, they're like, these are sheets. Um, of stones, rhinestone sheets, okay? You may wanna have some of those ready, okay? Um, you may also want to have, love. don't you guys love my tray? This is from Angie, God's Girl An Angie on um, Instagram. She made me this, this glue tray, I love it. I know you can't see it amongst the mess, but oh, I'm just so blessed by her every day. I have all my little stuff. Everything I need immediately is right in my little tray. So all of these, these are my digitals that I've bought. These are all my inkers and little, oh, that's a good idea too, good idea too, those little sheets. If you've been on my channel, you've seen those before. I don't wanna pull them out right now. Um, you want, you're gonna wanna have, this is the most important thing for this project. Sorry for the ink being all on there, ink and glue. But you're gonna wanna have your bone folder for this project. You're gonna wanna have your glue for this project and you're gonna wanna have your ink, okay? 
All right. Oh, and we already went over buttons, right? Yes, we did. We went over buttons. Here's some more of these, the little purses and shoes. And then what is this? Oh, I keep this on hand all the time. This is like my buttons and like different fun stones, okay? So those are going to actually go in my pot here. Okay, so now that we've gone over everything. Oh, one more thing. I was sent this. Now, not everybody has, and I don't have one. I don't have um, an embossing machine. But you may want to have some pieces that a friend has sent you. Okay, so now if you're a beginner, just use what you have. Just use what you have on hand. You may not have any of these things. But just start small, okay? And just, you know, start with doily. Everybody normally has doily, right? Just start with that and then stamping or a sticker, okay? So start small. Now, I am going to show you the project that I did last night. It was super, super, super easy. Okay. And in the description box below, I have left you, um, with how much these cost and where you can get them. This is our project today. Key tags. We're going to mass your stash. So key tags, there's seven in a pack. And if you buy them on Amazon, like these are actually really expensive per one. I think it comes up to like 18 cents, which that's a lot for one of these little ones. Um, I was able to find you guys on Amazon. I mean, it's buying in bulk and you'll have them forever. But the cool thing is, is that you can stick them in Happy Mail. Okay. And you'll have a ton of them. There's like 180 of them. For $14.99 and it makes them come down to about eight cents a tag. So I'm used to, you know, I'm I was in business forever, so I'm used to like breaking things down per one. So that's what we're working on today. And look how little this project is. You guys can totally win at this. And then for the season junk journaler, it's just time for you to mask your stash. But also to, um, you know, refresh, do something small and easy and just hang out today. Okay. So let me show you what I did with mine. Now, look, I had a comment. It was like uh, my girlfriend, Rhonda. I mean, you put the comment out there so I can repeat it, right? So she was like, you know, it's just about having reckless abandon and just starting. And so I thought about that and I was like, wow, okay, I totally remember feeling like that. And now I'm just like, I'm not afraid to mess up. I just kind of just do it. And I'm just kind of like, I don't care if it doesn't turn out. So this is what I did last night. I did the word ones and then I put the butterfly on them and just made it super easy. Like a win-win situation. I still want to add like a piece of sequence or something onto them. Just to, you know, bling them out. You know how I am, you guys. Okay. And then um, I'm going to show you the rest. I'm going to get I'm gonna get our uh, camera set up here. And I'll show you guys the rest, okay? But there's another one. Just really simple. There's a piece of doily. And then there is the butterfly. So just we're going to add a little more bling to them. I don't know if I'm going to do glitter or anything, but... I am gonna add something, okay? So let me get set up and I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, yay. And I'll do my best to stay in frame, okay? So here's one I made yesterday. I love this one. I think it is adorable. And it just has the doily on the other side. Too cute, right? And then I made this one. It kinda, you know, has the flower coming off. You know, and they're not perfect. It just has a random button. But it's cute, right? They hang off of our book, right? So I have that. And then I did the a little purse. <laughs> and then a yellow purse, a littler one on the other side. The doily's behind it. I got to add the bling. There's the shoe. And then the butterfly on the little, you know. And I'll be honest with you, I really kind of don't like how they fully look right 
but you know, at least I just, I jumped in and I started. So today, all I'm asking you of my viewers is jump in and just start today. Like, don't make it be a big deal. Get out some paints. I showed you everything that you could possibly get out, but you could get out way more, right? But I just gave you some options of where to start. And you can see, I just kept those really plain last night, right? I just did the little wording and the, you know, the one butterfly and the shoe and I was just testing it out. So now what I'm going to do is start from scratch a brand new pack and I thought I would do these with you guys, right? I don't have anything really prepared. Let me make sure there's seven here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing one, but I have an extra pack. <laughs> I put a whole bunch in one pack because I had needed to pack one time for something else. So seven, right? Okay, so we got seven out. And then you guys pause this video real quick. Pause it and go and get your stuff and get these little jamonis or save this video, right? And go get some of these from, they're $1.25 so you can start them out. I'm sure you could get them at Office Max and Copy Max or what is it? Yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. The Office Store, Staples, wherever, right? Get some of these and then come back and start this video, okay? And then down in the comments, let me know that you guys started doing this. You see that there's already hashtag for this epi these episodes. This is episode one, okay? And we're gonna start strong. And um, let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, I thought I would do one with um, the flower. So I'm getting out my ink. This is vintage photo, right? And I will tell you, these are super simple to ink you could just go like that <laughs> and it's inked um they're so easy because they're so little oh that was the other thing guys real quick take all of these off these little metal things it makes it easier to decorate them with the moss so let's do that first there's one I hope no one's here yet. Um, I have good news. My refrigerator is arriving today. My mini refrigerator for my room. And so when I um, do my next treatment and I have to, you know, be in here, I have a little refrigerator for my foods and my drinks. So, three, and yes. So, I hope you guys are having a fantastic, blessed day. I started my day amazingly with some amazing worship. It's called Jesus Co. And, uh, oh my goodness, you guys, it was so good. Uh, really, really, really good. And um, so I started my day listening to worship and my daughter is bringing me lunch. So I'm doing more independent because I've been feeling better, right? So um, more independent. So um, my daughter just comes and either makes me lunch or brings me lunch, but she's not here all day. And so that's really cool because it makes me get up you know get up and get water and all that stuff because it's so easy to you know ask her you know hey can you get me that give me that and um I really wanted to be more independent and so I'm feeling pretty good and um my muscles were super achy one two three four five six here's the last one and uh, anyways, my doctor's like, 
take magnesium. And I've been taking magnesium, and oh my gosh, you guys, I'm almost feeling like I have so much more strength and energy. It's a miracle. Love it. Okay, boom. Seven are inked and done. So now we could put our inks away. I love that. I love putting our inks away. Grab our shears. Now I did have to use a couple different cutting little stuff. I noticed the little scissors work so much better for me. I got my little scissors. And I got my big dogs. Okay. So with the doily, I noticed if you can find where there's like a little hole, like where you can still, you know, put anything through the hole and then cut around, it made it really much easier to put it down. If that makes sense. I'm going to try and stay in frame the whole time. Okay. And I have so many things to talk to you guys about today. So it's a really good day. So one, um, my website is shut down. I'm not going to be using that in this next season. It's just oh, more work than I want to do or deal with at the moment. So um, when I do the tour of my two craft rooms, which one now is a store and the other one is my craft room studio. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try and get in the habit of studio and store, right? Get in the habit of saying that. So when I show you guys the store, then you can see what is available for purchase. I have so many things in there, it's amazing. I have, um, just to give you guys an idea, like organic goat milk soap, which is so amazing for your body and your hands, especially like if you're in the water a lot and stuff. Um, oh, we're going to do this one this way. Actually, we're going to do that. Can you kind of see how I'm lining it up so we still have use of that hole? But I want more of these flowers on here. Um, anyways, I, uh, what was I telling you guys? Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, organic goat milk soap. I have a lot of journals, so I call them refills. So they're all like, you know, naked journals. They're all just pages. Um, there are some fun pages in there too. But they're really made for, you know, serious journaling, right? Um, you could get one um, and then it's like a blank, right? And then, um, let me just make sure this, I think this is working. Yeah, that's working. Has to be working. If it's bright over here to me, it has to be bright over there to you. Um, I hope that lighting's better for you guys. Um, so anyways, I sell a ton of paper. I have so much paper from just years and years of dyeing it and letting it dry in the sun. And I have all different colors. I have tea. Um, I have coffee dyed. I have espresso dyed. I have, um, you know, where you can buy a mix, like the bag is a mix. Um, I have pink like dusty pink, light pink. Um, oh my gosh, I have so many. I have like speckled paper. It's like all speckly. It's so beautiful. I have paper that looks like a tree. So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to do all the bases and then layer up, okay? So that one's going to look like that. Let me make sure you can see. Yeah, we're going to set that one over there. Um, speckled tree. So like if you wanted to do like for, um, you know, like garden or forest or something like that, you could do that. Let's do that. Well, what was the point of me? Um, ooh, 
And that's from Diane. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty too. I think I'm just going to try and use like just a little part of it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like that little flower. Um, so anyways, that's what I have for paper. And what else do I got? Journals. Oh, we have all different kinds of rocks, like biblical rocks that are already done that are available. Um, we do do custom names, but it just has to like, um, we can't guarantee like the light colored rocks because we cannot find them. You know, they're really hard to find. Like this one. I'm going to show you mine. I don't, you guys haven't seen it in a long time. But this one's mine, right? And see how it's light colored? It's amazing. Um, Yeshua, the deliverer to rescue. Matthew 121. I love this rock, right? So it's hard to find these rocks. But I do paint them. I can paint them um, pink. Um, I just can't guarantee colors. So you can't be like picky or, you know, anything like that. So I can't guarantee colors, but, um, you know, I do like doing the light pink because it is easier to do. Um, and you could do white, but man, whew, that would get messy. Um, I don't recommend sealing them or anything like that because that just messes them up. They have to kind of, you know, that one's sealed, but it's a light rock, you know. So, yeah, we have rocks. Um, we have a couple Bibles that have, like, my husband's, you know, artwork on the side. They're really cool. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to put that there and not worry about it. <laughs> and not worry about it. We're going to use this little tiny flower, too. Do something different, right? I'm not going to worry how these turn out because, you know, that's where we get stopped in our creativity. I had just left a message on um, my friend Karen on her YouTube yesterday. And I was like, I'm scared to do the kind of binding that she had did. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I wrote that. But it was true. I was scared, you know? So, yeah, we gotta get over those blocks. Is this the one? Oh no, here it is. So I'm gonna put that down there so it kinda hangs off. Ooh, fun. Gotta get some of this um, Actually, okay, I'm going to pause and put this one up here. I know, it's terrible. Terrible. But I am going to do this real quick because I think that this made everything look so much cooler, to be real with you. So what you do is you put your glue down. And try not to get it on your metal. Okay, so you put your glue down and then you put this over it, right? Just like that. I mean, you could kind of rip off, but you got to be careful ripping off because then it takes it off of your, your project, okay? So this is where I was saying your bone folder really comes into play. And of course... Guess what? I lost my bone folder. Oh, I just showed it to you guys. Man. There it is. Okay. So, go like that into the creases. See, and it makes it go down. So then when you go to cut around it, it comes off so much easier. So just kind of see how I lost that. So that kind of showed you the example of the ripping. I wouldn't do it. Okay. So I'm going to let that one dry. 
And that is what it is on the other side. I should have put a different kind of base down. So that's lesson learned, right? Okay. Now this is uh, the writing. I don't know if I ever did the music or not. But we're going to do um, a base on all of these, okay? Because I just... Um, I really like the music base. I mean, not the music. Sorry, this one's script. Okay. So there's that. And there you go. It's on there. And we'll use our bone folder to smooth it out. Get it into those corners. I hope you guys are seeing because I can't see. I'm blinded by the light. Okay. And then just cut around. This is cool. So I woke last night. I kept having the same vision in my sleep all night. And I was like, I was really happy with, you know, I kept thinking about these because I had made them and I was like so excited about them. And so every time I kept thinking about them, I was just like praying. I was like, Lord, is that, you know, what you want my next video to be? And then when I got up this morning, it was like complete confirmation. And then that's where the name came up with mass your stash and I was like yes because I have been praying for God just to give me something that you know I could stick to because I want to stick to something you know and um have it be really awesome and you know, have time to hang out with you guys and make something, make something cool. So we're going to smooth around here. Okay. And do the same thing. We're just going to cut around there. Oopsie. There we go. Cut around there. So we have some left for other ones. Sticky. Try not to rip it. Oh, actually, this side's not glued down very well. Look at that. Little glue. So, yeah, I'm excited about my daughter coming for lunch today. So, if you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And like this video. Everyone like this video, please. I, um, if you go to the search bar and you put in Junk Journal and Jen, I don't pop up anymore. <laughs> and when I first started my channel, you put Junk Journal in, and then if you looked down, like down, you would see my name. Like I was like, bam, right there. And, um, so yeah, I need to get my algorithms back up, y'all. So if you could help me out, like this video. If you have another junk journaling friend, share this video with her. Tell her about me. So yeah, I started my day with worship and then everything started to fall together. I like wrote out the description already for this video. I wrote out a whole spiel. And that's when I know I'm totally connected to the Holy Spirit. Like when everything's just flowing and everything's good. And whew, I walked to the office first thing this morning. You guys, I never do that. I normally can't make it to my offices until like, you know, the afternoon. Say like 2, 3. I was in the office first thing this morning getting the tags. I was like, I told my husband, I said, I'm getting the tags. He's like, okay. 
And then he comes in there after me. I'm like, I'm good. He's like, okay. He just was not expecting me to be in that office first thing in the morning. So God's good. So let's mass our, we're going to mass our stashes. Okay. So I've come up with a few, more than a few videos that I would like to do with you guys that are beginner friendly, but they are also like, they're going to help you start your stash. Right. And then, um, for my seasoned, my old schoolers, Hey y'all, um, it's going to help them just maybe get refreshed or, um, you know, rework on some stuff that they want to do or give themselves some ideas for their channel, right? Um, so yeah, that is the plan. I'm hoping that I don't do what everybody else is doing. <gasps> so I have a confession. I have to confess this on this, this video and I'm going to have to confess it on the main video. So I was like, pocket tucker. <laughs> on one of my videos, right? I was like, I haven't seen anyone make this, right? And I was like, yeah, pocket tucker, like all like, right? <laughs> so anyways, I wake up the next morning and oh my goodness, Gail Agostinelli was straight up making a pocket tucker. Now look, it was not the same one, but it was surely darn close. I was like, oh man. And then I was like, oh, but you know what? I wrote down a whole bunch of different ways to make a pocket tucker. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to make a video on that. Maybe it'll be one of our um, mash your stash. I think we'll do that. We'll put it on there because it's so easy. And I got a few different ways that we can do it. And then we can do one the way that Gail did it and give her some props for it. Okay, how many were you at? One, two, three, four. We're doing good. You guys getting your bases done? Come on, get your bases done. Remember, you don't have to do this, this, um, the stressing it. You don't have to do that. You can totally skip that and go straight to doing a doily and have a nice base with a doily, right? So see that? You could totally just do that. I'll do one that way right now. So we'll have uh, we'll have two that are like that. How about that? We're gonna do one plain one, and it's just a base. It's just a base. Oh, I hope I'm not messing this up. Have to see. I think this fits perfect. Let's see. Pretty darn close. I had a feeling. Okay. So. I'm going to cut off these little edges. So that it fits on there perfect. I hope I'm in the frame this whole time. Am I? I am. Am I too close for y'all? Hope not. Okay. So see that that's a nice base. So you can still see the hole. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue this one. Let me turn the light back on. Even though it totally blinds me. Not from my project, but from seeing my screen, it totally blinds me out. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. Okay. There you go. Right. And I just pat it with my dry paper towel. Pat, pat, pat. That works. That works so good. Okay. Now, let's let that dry. Put this back for a second. I need that one over there. We're getting ready to be done with all the bases. 
I pray you guys are doing this project. It'd be nice for you just to feel like you've accomplished something. Right? So what else do we have to chat about? We have a lot. So keep praying for me. And let's see. Okay, so everyone should know I hit a thousand subscribers. Well, we did because you guys are my friends and you helped me. So yay, we did it. We did it. We hit a thousand subscribers and there are 200 videos up. Like that's insanity. I can't even believe I did 200 videos. Can you guys? That is just wild. Who does 200 videos? I mean, besides, you know, like Pam at the Paper Outpost and Gail Agostinelli. Like, she's probably done 200 videos a long time ago. <clears throat> so, um, told you about the website. Not doing that anymore. I can't wait to show you guys the store. It's really coming together. But, you know, I have to work on it with my family. And, of course, they work, so... I get their time when I get their time, you know? So hopefully we'll be done with that soon. We have some new friends that I just would like to acknowledge because I'm just so happy that you have um, have written me. Like if you write me in the comments and stuff, I get to know you seriously by you doing that. And... Um, so anyways, I just really want also for people to belong, feel like they belong to a community or a channel, you know? I don't want you to feel like you're just straight up ignored, you know? And everybody has their style. Everybody's channel is is different and it's designed, you know, just the way that they want it and just the way that they've created it, you know? My uh, channel is more geared towards my savior and so um you know god's all about the vertical and the horizontal and so you know the uh horizontal is you guys so i like to be connected i also like to know who my customers are i still have that whole hairdresser thing in me so you know I like to know who my customers are too, you know? I mean, if you want to be completely just like not purchase something from me and then have me not know you, I mean, you could do that. But, you know, I like to know you because then I like to give you a whole bunch of stuff in your package when you order because I'm just that kind of person, you know? I love to give away stuff. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm getting ready to put together all my Happy Meals pretty quick here. So I'm excited about that. I still have one more side, right, guys? Yeah, let's do the other side. Yeah, I'm super happy about Happy Meal. I love doing Happy Meal. I love exchanging and that. So I feel like I really want to do like a Happy Meal exchange in... Uh, Junk Journal and Jen Facebook group. So, I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but let me know if you are interested. Because there might be some other ladies that are interested. You know, a lot of people, I guess, in the past have gotten burned with Happy Meal. I've had a really good experience with it, um, with knowing the ladies in that. So, um, there's a few ladies that I know, so, you know... Maybe we could build one that's really trustworthy, you know. So, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in that. That'd be cool. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why are we missing one? Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, let me see. I'm just curious if I stamped something else. Just, did I just do that? Hmm. Ooh. I'm going to use some of that. This one. This one right here. See, I just take all my stamps and I stamp napkins. 
And then I can attach them to anything. I love it. I love this stamp. This one. I really love this stamp. I don't know if that would look good on here. It just cuts it all off. So, not doing that. Okay. I'm going to do this one real quick. Because it's totally different. Totally, totally. Okay. So, get her glued up. Ooh, I can't wait to show you one of these stamps I'm going to do. It's the one with the flowers. I showed you guys that. You can put anything you want on these. You know what I'm saying? It just has to fit, you know, per the, the size, right? So, you can put it right over, just like that. These are going to be so cute for our journals, you know, or to give away. So cute. I'm excited. Okay. Cut right around there. Yeah, I was making these while I was, um, <laughs> okay, look, I'm not a part of the Bible study, but I am watching because we have a, a Bible study that is in person at church, but they're also, um, putting it on YouTube. So last night I was making these <laughs> while I was listening, but it was so cool. It was so fun to, um, do these last night. Okay. And then we're going to do the other side. The other side. How many minutes are we at? Ooh, we're at 33 minutes. So this gives you a reality of how long it's going to take. Okay. I'm just going to keep going. I really don't want to have to do a part two to this video, but we may have to. Because the class last night was two hours and I got those done. So yeah, this is probably a two hour project. Unless you're just doing them like, okay, I'm painting them and then you let them dry, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure you can find, you know, a shorter technique to this. I'm sure you could. Okay. And that one is done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Cut that around. So I don't um, know what day I'm going to be posting these videos. I may just do them random because, you know, I like to mass make everything. <laughs> right? So... Building the stash. Building the stash for the next set of journals. Right, guys? Okay. So our bases are complete. Yay, yay! Bases are complete. Okay. So I'm going to cut around these real quick. Of course, that's the hard part. These are dry now. So you could even tear them a little bit. Right? That's going to stick to my finger because all the glue. I kind of like the teared look. Come on. Like, there you go. That looks so good. Okay, let me get a wipey real quick. Oops. Whoops, 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 whoops. So my um get a wipey out get your hands wiped off good from that glue i did break down and buy art glare glue oh today oh it's so expensive i just cannot believe how expensive it is
Okay. There's that. All right, I'm gonna keep my wipey here because I need it. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, that looks good. The whole, you know, just, that's why I really creased it down in that little um, crease there. So then when I got ready to rip, it wouldn't come all the way off. But look at, look how nice it comes off of there because it's down in that crease. That is awesome. I'm digging that. Mm, a little bit came off. Bummer. That's okay. You can't really tell. So it's not too... Not too shabby. See that? Oh, came off. That's okay, I'll have to put something there to cover it up. Cool. Okay, guys. Let's move on. Give me one second. Friends, my camera was not on the whole time. And I was talking to myself. Oh my gosh. So this is what I got done. Since you guys were gone and it, you weren't, I just never hit record. So I put that little flower on there. I don't know if you saw me even pick it. Um, I put this one on here. The wedding with the flower on the bottom and then that there. I picked that out of our our pot. I went digging for treasure, and in the bottom, there was all this treasure. I mean, amazing little tiny stuff down here. Like, look, little butterflies, little tags, little things, little amazing things. Cute. So that was all down in the bottom, and we picked a whole bunch of stuff out of there. And I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. I don't know if you guys saw me do this one. So cute. We left the cute side and we just did that side. So really that one's done. This one we did the wedding dress. I don't even know if you guys saw me do it. So we did that. <laughs> I shouldn't sound all bummed in my voice, but I don't even know what I said to you guys now. So anyways, we're almost done. Like literally almost done. Um, so flower and a num, I mean, a butterfly and a number, or we could do a butterfly because it can't be. Look, gotta poke the hole, it's just better to poke it so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> so it could be a butterfly just on this side, right? And that's one, so that that'd be easy. Let's just get this one done. So let's do some super simple ones instead of me getting all intricate because you know how I do that. I love to like bouge la rouge everything up. So let's just actually make some of these simple. So we're just going to do this butterfly on this side and that's it. This one we were going to do either the number or tag. Hmm. Or some paper. No, I don't want to do that. I think we're going to just do this two six like that. What do you think? Because. Or do it below. These things are like little to deal with. Little. I'm just not feeling that. I had originally did this, but now I'm not feeling that. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. What am I going to do? Nope. Nope. Okay, we're going to leave that one alone. This one's done. We're calling this one done. We're calling that one done. Let's check on our flowers. Oh, they're cute. They turned out so good. Okay. And then I already have a little... I was going to do a butterfly on this side. What do you guys think? I think that's perfect. Let's do it. So butterfly on that side. And that one is done. We're going to have seven done. How fun. Cute. Cute. And I can add pearls to that later. That's done. Is this one done? We were just going to... This one goes on the back. All it needs is something on the top. What do we have? Hmm. That's random, huh? Can we deal with random? I think we can. We have that as a possibility. We have the numbers as a possibility. We have the numbers with a butterfly. Hmm. I kind of like that, to be honest. So we could go a little bit lower. And we could do the butterfly. Because it has to be one, three, or five. Those are the ratio. And then we could just have the two showing, which I'm totally fine with. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Let's do this. I cannot believe I didn't have the camera on. <laughs> I'm sitting here chit-chatting with myself, huh? I see how it is. Let's get that up just a smidge. Ooh, let that dry. <clears throat> and do the butterfly next. I like these butterflies. They're cute. They're really tiny. I don't know where they came from. I know that they're Tim Holtz. I know that. That much is clear. Um, but I don't know what... It's like, you know, which one they came in. I feel like they came in the last ephemera kit that I got. I did show you guys that in an Amazon video. If you look at that. Bam. Look at that. The two and the six. It works. Cute. So we have them. 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 Hmm, that's cute. It's missing something. I think just a little bit of bling is all it's missing. Done. Hmm. Just cleaning up around the, around there. I'll have to keep that one out. This one's done. This is where we where we're leaving off right here. Is these three? Okay, so let's go. Make sure our camera's on. Yes, seven minutes, and let's find something for these three. This one we could do the travelers with the tag, something like that. We could. Let's see what we got. Oh. 
That's some cool paper. I'll probably use that. Um, music paper is always good, right? That always works. That might work. Tiny music sheet. <laughs> oh. It says hope. It's really tiny. Hmm. Enclosure. I don't like that. And we have a baby. Oh, yes. Butterfly. Gotta love it. We use, like, no buttons. Here's one. We're gonna use this button on one of these. Okay. Let's just go with what we just dug out. You see how I didn't even use most of what we pulled out earlier, guys? Isn't that amazing? I think that is amazing. Maybe, guys, I'm going to have to just leave this by itself is what I'm starting to think. This flower. Because it's just not liking anything else. <laughs> and, like, nothing else is going with it. You know what I'm saying? I've tried so many things. Like, look, let's see if this butterfly even goes with it. Like, no. It does not. So we're leaving it alone. All by its lumpsome because it just isn't liking anything else. I can't, I can't tell you. I don't know about it. Okay, friends, let's do. Mm -mm -mm. This is so cute, this little letter. It's too big, though. Go have these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Music note. Right? We're going to do the music note. And and this little button. I think that might be cute. What do you think? Ah, let's just do it. Okay, give me a second here, peeps. I got to do some inking. Let's get this off here. Let's do a little inking. A little poquito. Everything slides down on my on my desk here. So, okay, so we got that. And we got this. And we got our little tiny music note here. Okay, so anyways, I was doing hello. I was doing hello to people and their names. And now I can't even remember if I did it right when we got back online. My gosh. I don't like to be like that where I forget stuff. So let's say hello to Betty. Not too shabby chic. Mrs. Coffee Walks and whatever, Deb. Joy and... Caterie's Crafty Ideas. So those are our new friends. And there's many, many more. Like I know some people from church and friends. Like Dion. Hi. She subscribed. And um, her hubby. He, he subscribed to support me. Isn't that sweet? 
That is just so sweet. And who else? Just all kinds of friends. So hi, guys. All my church friends and family. I know my family watches. I love that. I just love that. I love this button, you guys. Okay. Ah. And we are almost done with this little button here. Yes. Hopefully that stays. My dogs are trying to um, meet the new dog next door. <laughs> it's like they go out there and they dig at the gate. It's like they wanna meet the new neighbor. They're so funny. Aren't dogs hilarious? And we're calling that one done. That's a done. That's a done. Okay. Now this one. On the other side of town. We're going to. Cut a little sliver. Ooh. Huh. So we're going to do that. I think we should do this and then do the butterfly in the center. What do you guys think? I say we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it. Just like that. One, two, three. Okay. So put this over here. That one. Yeah, my dog. Mm. <laughs> She's just waking up. <laughs> boo boo. Boo boo. Are you tired? Boo boo, Adriana's coming. Boo boo. Normally when I tell them Adriana's coming, my daughter, their ears just get so perked up. Okay, so guys, we are done. We are done, we are done, we are done. That was the back of that one. So are they all here? Oh, we only have this one left. Okay. I almost want to leave it like this, to be honest, because isn't that cool? It really is. I don't want to cover it up. So you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't want to cover it up. Watch this. We're going to do this really cool thing. And then we are going to call us complete with finishing them. I'm hoping that this is not a challenging project for you. It was a tiny project, which if you didn't enjoy that it was tiny, I'm sorry. It's so sorry. But we're going to do this little tiny piece of lace. One, two, three. Okay. One, three, and five. Those are our numbers. And we're going to take this tiny little piece of lace and we're going to put it right there. Look at that. How cute. Right? And then we're going to... do these little tiny flowers so there we go we got our little tiny lace right just remember to dab it okay so we got our little lace and then I had those little tiny flowers right so we're just going to take one and we're going to glue it together. Right. And we're going to stick it right on there. So I'm going to do a little bead of glue. And 
just like that. Look at that. Is that cute? Isn't that too cute? That is cute. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're just um we're just gonna duplicate it. Um give me one second. So we gotta do one, two, three. One, two, three, right? So you see the three little holes there. And we're gonna go just down this way because it's a little bit I got it crooked on the other side. But that's okay. It's still going to look good. It's still going to look good. And just dab, dab, that down there. We've got our flowers. We're just going to just pluck this one right off of there. This was a fun project. So I'm so happy. All we got to do is put our rings back on. And let's do our bead of glue. And we are complete. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, seven. Yay. Thank you. I'm so glad. I don't want to do super long projects, guys. Because I just feel like I will also bore you too. So I wanted to tell you a story. There's somebody. And, um, oh my gosh, I forgot her name right now. Oh, I meant to write it down because I checked my email. But uh, anyways, it's creatively created. And um, she put, we know the truth, um, which is by Jesus' stripes that I am healed and whole. Glory to God. Her pastor had spoke on um, the dominator which we are to dominate and frustrate the devil. Yes. So, you know, what does that look like? Well, that looks like, you know, us being holy and us being giving and us being hopeful, you know, and being forgiving and being disciplined, right? And, um... Us being gracious, right? Us being kind. Us, you know, being integrous, having integrity. Us being honest. Us being serving, right? And us believing. You know, we need to be that is also having the mind of Christ and reading his word. That's how we learn to have the mind of Christ. Yes. So our little, isn't it cute? With the butterfly back, right? So cute. And let's put the ring back on. So we'll just go just like that. And we're going to put the little ring back on. Yay. So there's that one. So cute. <laughs> so cute. And then we have this one with the music note and the button and the paper. And then that little flower that we just could not get anything to work with it, right? <laughs> Which is fine. That's fine. And then we had the little bow with a flower. And we had our doily for the back. It turned out really cool. Really cool. Okay. Got that one back on there. Ooh. <laughs> this one so worked out. This was so great, right? The wedding dress. I 
glued that bead down, the little flower poking out, right? And then we did the back with the with the little butterfly, the numbers, and the flower. How fun was that? So cool. And let's get this back on here. Perfect. There we go. And then the next one we did, see how you get better and better compared to the ones that I did earlier? We did the little piece of lace with the flower and the little piece of lace with the flower. Oh my gosh, was this not the easiest one to do? We almost should just do a whole bunch of just that one, huh? <laughs> and then we had the butterfly all by itself and then the butterfly on two pieces of paper and one is an embossed paper. And then a Tim Holtz little miniature envelope and miniature butterfly, right? Cute. And the last one, the wedding gown, which that so reminds me of being Jesus' bride. Oh, isn't it amazing how my videos always go to that point right there? Jesus. <laughs> I love it. You guys, this was so awesome. We should next time make these with just all wedding dress, right? And then this was another thing I wanted to do is that this was a part of this was to add the bows on this one. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Just gives it that extra bouge la rouge. Hold on a second. Let's go over here. There we go. Maybe it's too much, but it's okay. I'm too much. Yay. All right, you guys. So nice to be with you today. We did it. The mash, mass your stash. Yay. All right, you guys, um, what else do I have to tell you? I gave you a story, right? Oh, okay, 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 okay. So please, in the description box, go down and below. It's going to list all of my junk journaling friends. And what I mean by that is uh, my junk journaling friends that have a YouTube channel that I'm supporting to get to a 1,000, okay? Okay. So I'm going to link them below um, all of my videos and until they reach, you know, a thousand. And some of them don't even really care about reaching, you know, a thousand. But it's cool to reach a thousand because it's a great milestone to see, you know, how far God has brought you in this whole, oh, excuse me, you guys, the process. So anyways, please go and um, subscribe to my girlfriends. And they are actual friends of mine. Like we message, talk on the phone, that kind of a thing. Um, so, you know, or we've done Happy Mail Swaps. So, like, I really um, enjoy these beautiful, beautiful, kind. Um, these women that I've linked below have just made a huge impact on my life. Um, the three that I can think, no, four, 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 four off the top of my head that I can think of um, is um, Monica. Um, I've talked to you guys about her. Her channel's brand spanking new. Like, it's only three weeks old. Um, we talk on the phone uh, at least once a week. And so please go and subscribe to her channel. And then um, we have uh, Grace B Creations, which is my girlfriend Karen. She is just so bougie and adorable and so kind and so loving and I just adore her. She was my first Happy Mail swap. So, um, Karen. And then um, Joy Junk Teak. Joy Junk Teak. Um, she is just so peaceful, prayer warrior, just really bougie in taste. Um, she's making an adorable little house journal right now that is just super to me extraordinary so go check out that video um she does the whole like you know fills you in on the process of how far she gets with it and then of course we have j journal diva 
which is Rhonda. I've known her since I started my channel and I just absolutely adore her. She is just so kind and just so gracious and um, she just supports everybody in the junk journal community. Like she supports everybody in the junk journal community. I just absolutely adore her. So please go check out those people and if I missed you, I'm so sorry but you will be in the description box below. And if you have a brand new channel and you want to be supported to get to a thousand, just let me know. I'm more than welcome to help you get there by linking you below and mentioning you um, in my videos that that is what I'm doing um, to support everybody. Okay. Yay, everybody. So I'm out of here. I'm going to go clean my desk. Goodness me. I forgot. Please subscribe. Please like this video and hit that notification bell so you know when I post the next video. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.